On June 16, 2022, an officer observed a vehicle exhibiting strange behavior in Madison, Wisconsin. Believing the driver might be impaired, the officer initiated a traffic stop. Oh, that's the wrong one. 7768 traffic. The car pulled to the side momentarily, then suddenly started backing up quickly, hitting their squad car and other vehicles. Stay by. Upon approach, the officers heard the driver apologizing in a very slurred speech and saying they were just trying to park. The driver was soon identified as a 26-year-old female named Aurora. A car just backed up into my squad and two other cars. Adam Nora Young, 6808. Adam Nora Young, 6808. Gilman, Gorham, and Pickney. While speaking with her, the officer detected a strong odor of intoxicants emitting from her vehicle. Turn off the car. It's off. Are you guys injured at all? We're not. I'm sorry. It was in park. I literally don't know why it was doing that. We have the emergency brake on. I don't know. Yeah. We had it in park because we saw you coming over. We pulled it in park and it was rolling backwards. He can vouch. Okay, you just hit a bunch of cars we and us. Yeah. We didn't hit any cars. Yeah, you're crashing into a car right now. We literally didn't hit You all you oh, hit my no. car too. Fuck. You're not gonna be able to get out. I mean I am gonna be able to get out. No, you no. you will. I'm just saying I don't think he'll be able to get out, so I'm gonna have you stay in right now, okay? So no one's injured? We're, we're no, 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 no one's injured. Okay. We're not we're not trying to cause any problems. <laughs> I live right up here. We, we just... live around the corner. <laughs> I understand. I just have to make sure you guys aren't injured because you were... You're okay. No, man. You guys did get an accident. Okay, do you have your driver's license on you? So the reason why I initially stopped you is you came up to this intersection here and you did a big turnaround and you went facing the wrong way towards me. We were... We were just trying to do a U-turn. We are doing so a we U-turn get, to so get could, up here. That was so literally we all we were trying to do. We just wanted to park. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's my wrong, I'm sorry, you said ID, I'm sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> yep, we'll switch that. Right now I'm just having you guys stay in the car because no, no, no. it's I secure know, here and we're on a hill. We kind of <laughs> panicked not, at the lights, it is yeah, a thing, I just, I freaked out at the lights and I... As soon as the officer said her vehicle was going to be towed, Aurora became verbally aggressive and uncooperative. Okay, I'm going to try and figure a way to... Get everyone out safely. I don't know how bad it is on that side, but you're not I, gonna be able to get out. I mean, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we will be able to get out. Honestly, if you'll let us, try, I'm pretty sure we can drive away from this. It'll probably be the best thing. I didn't nope, that's not, away. that's not gonna well, happen. Well, how is it gonna be any better if they tow me away? I'm gonna have to get away from this car eventually, No, I'm just right? gonna have you guys step out of the car, just because I don't know if this car is safe to roll back. You're gonna tow this car over us hitting their mirror? You're gonna tow this car over us hitting their mirror? I'm talking about you exiting the vehicle. So what I'm asking though is, how, no, 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 I'm being serious. I'm allowed to ask a cop a question about what we're doing. So I'm not driving this car away. As of right now, you're not. I'm Why? still talking to you. So you can talk to me. What you're saying is that you want me to get out of the car and not drive my car away. What I would like to do that is to is be able correct. to drive my car away so I can get to work in the morning because if you take my car, I will not be able to get to She's getting pretty verbal, just so you know. Okay. So I'm pretty sure your back tire is also damaged. Okay, great. So can I take care of that myself and you just like... Get so my car away from their people, park it wherever the f I would rather not have you pay for it because I'm not going to be able to afford that. I can already not, no, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. I cannot afford me. this. I can't afford the ticket I'm about to get. I cannot afford any of this shit. And the reason I hit their car is because I panicked because the okay. fucking lights were on. Take a deep breath. No, I'm me. freaking out. I understand. But I'm, I want to try so and get my out. car away from here because I'm pretty sure that their car is going to be fine if I can just get the away from here get to my place you can do whatever the f you want i need to be able to get to work in the morning do not tow my f***ing car okay right now i'm not so much f***ing work for me right now i'm not even talking no, about I'm that like, oh, yeah, oh, i oh, can't oh, do oh, this oh, i'm oh, already oh, freaking i'm trying oh, not oh, to i'm freaking out i cannot i cannot do this i need you to take a breath Aurora. i need you to take a breath everything Okay, so I just have to make sure you're safe. Aurora, can you listen I'm to me? Safe, I'm fine. I'm I understand fine. that. But right now we're standing in the middle of the road. Seven zero, we are still ten two. The driver is becoming very, very irate, but it's all verbal at this point. What? What do you need for me? She then forcefully opened the car door in an effort to run away. At the same time, the 30-year-old female passenger named Julia jumped over the center console of the vehicle and started fighting with the officers. 
What do I need to do? I'm going to have you with me and my partner. I'm going to have you exit the car. Stop! Don't do it! Don't do it! You just back! Get back! Both females continued to actively resist as officers attempted to take them into custody. In response to Julia's aggressive and non-compliant actions, a taser was deployed, causing her to immediately collapse. combative and resistive behavior, a spit hood and leg restraints were placed on her. Who has the leg restraints? Any leg restraints and I will be calmer. Well, that's not the case right now. Don't kick! Don't kick! And nobody's saying to hurt you, I'm trying to get you guys to let me the go! Guys! I'm not an animal. I don't, I'm not going to hurt you guys. Look at me. I'm 130 pounds. Yeah, you guys, you can deal with a little wet scrape. Look what you've done to me. Who's going to pay for the yeah, shit you did to me? Not that I'm a fucking hypocritical asshole. I'm going to get in more trouble for standing up for myself and saying I need space. Well, we got four squads here. Someone's got life restraints. Are you good on this one? Yeah, I'm good on that one. Take a couple deep breaths. Calm down, okay? Shut the f up! Okay. Don't f tell me to take a few deep breaths when you're f violating me like this. Don't worry about your body camera right now. I'll grab it. We'll go back. Don't f that on me. Don't! Don't! I'm asking you. I'm in the back of a police car. What can I do? Don't put it on me. Please don't put it on me. I'm kicking you out of bed. I'm putting f***ing restraints on my legs. What the f am I going to do? Do not put that on my face. Do not put that on my Do you really think I'm a threat? Do not put that on my f***ing face! Let me know you guys got the... Do not! Is that such a f***ing crime? Do not kick! Do not kick! I'm not kicking! You anything. just kicked! I'm just kicking! That's not what happened! That's not what happened! You're, you're, you're the leader of doing this! Huh? 
Alright. Let me. Elena's not doing this. You're fucking. Elena Sethum is doing this. I don't need the set of a string. I'm a fucking 130 pound girl. When you're kicking, that's not the case. I'm kicking because I don't deserve to be treated like a fucking animal. You wouldn't be in restraints if you didn't. Oh, if you decided not to relax. Let me go. You're fucking cutting up the circulation of my arms. Stop thrashing around. Let me go. Stop. If you relax, you'd be a lot less pain. If you let me go. I'm gonna relax! Keep this Nobody out. Can. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey. Now! Stop. Why would I listen to you? Nobody's listening to me. Nobody's listening to a damn what I said. As a result of the altercation, an officer sustained minor injuries and was taken to a hospital. Is this yours? Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. What happened? Just you. When we took her to the ground, I went down the hill too. Oh, god. Gotcha. And she was like kicking and screaming, so sure. she definitely kicked a part of my knees. <laughs> hey, what's her name? Laura? <laughs> hey, Laura. <laughs> Laura, this is. Not my fing name! You gotta tell me to learn my fing name! Oh, and you're gonna treat me like an animal and you're not gonna learn my name! I'm just wanting to see uh, if you need to go to the hospital. So you're fine now? Yes! You don't need an ambulance? No! I'm not an animal. I am a 26 year old girl. Fun. I, you can ask the cop. You can ask the woman I was talking to. I was calm. I was okay. calm. She asked me to step out of the car. I stepped out of the car. You guys pushed me against my vehicle. And I asked you not to put the car on my head. Flailing and kicking, and somebody apparently got their knee hurt. What about my wrists? What about my ankles? What about my fucking head? Then you smashed into the ground. No, because I bit it off. Nobody removed it from me. I used my tongue to get the hood off. You guys, what the? F and what are you here for to protect the people? When I said I will cooperate, I asked you to take the f hood off. Okay, sorry. No, don't say sorry. F you. Not you, you, officer. I interrupted what you're saying. <laughs> you're f you me the I told you, you not to do it. I told you not to. I told you to lock me hands and arms. Up. I asked you not to put a f hand on my head. And what? You fucking criminalized me! What the fuck? I asked you not to! You're supposed to be here for me! You're supposed to protect us! You asshole! All I did was fuck me! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trying to protect the people! Fuck you! You're not here for the people, you have your fucking paycheck! Just like everybody else! Take me out! A search of Aurora's car yielded drug paraphernalia, including a one hitter and a container with some marijuana in it. Let's see if he'll be chill first. What's his name? Her name? I really am trying to be okay. good. I, I know. really okay. am. Hi. I'm mean right, from the bottom of my heart. I understand. Let's start over, okay? okay. My Please. name's Officer Shaw. Shaw. What's your name? I'm, I'm Julius. Julius. Please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I identify him, her. How do you identify? He is him. He is him? Thank you for asking. Okay. All right. So here's what's going to happen right now, okay? We're going to move you to a different squad, okay? Because right now you're in the back of the city squad and we're UW officers. We're going to move you over to a different vehicle. We're going to have to get you out of handcuffs and get, a, get, in, get you in some of our handcuffs to do that. Or are you going to cooperate as we do that? I will cooperate. I just, I, I want, I want, the, I want the best. So here's what's going to happen. I want happen. the best possible. Okay. So we're going to do that process really first. Do. Once we get you into that vehicle, I'm going to explain the next steps as to what happens now. Okay. But I want, yeah, I want some cooperation so that we can move you over to that vehicle so that we don't have to have any more tussling. I'm not going to fight. Good. I'm not going to fight. Because I am very tired. Okay. I am too. Okay. So I sit really tight am. for one second. Well, I want the best. Y'all, I want the best for me, I, and I want for the best. And you know what? I believe that completely. I really right? do. I really do. From here on out, let's just treat this like we're starting over, and Please. let's be cooperative the rest of the time, okay? You, you have my cooperation. 100%. Okay. Why don't you step on out of the vehicle? Yes, sir. Go ahead and separate your feet a little bit more, widen your stance. So we're going to put you in more handcuffs, okay? Thank you. We're going to walk you over to a different vehicle, okay? Thank you guys for letting us use your squad. We appreciate it. Aurora! What? You okay? Yes! If you let me... Out of here. You were driving the squad, yeah. correct? And so you guys did a traffic stop on this vehicle. It sideswipes the car that it's next to right now. No, it's actually up there. Oh. And it rolled that. Or did she it put sides. It in yeah, it sideswipes. She put it in reverse. Hit my squad. I reversed it. Yeah, to try and get it get back. Get back. And then she hit, I think, probably multiple of these cars. The reason you're in handcuffs right now is because when uh, we attempted to detain the driver of the vehicle, you stepped out of the car in what I would interpret as a combative manner. I understand you're probably just trying to. I understand you're probably just trying to protect your friend, but 
as I understand it, you were not complying with orders from the other officers, and that resulted in you being tased. Okay, that's the reason that you're in handcuffs. Okay, because they gave you lawful orders. I don't think, so I'm assuming. I, don't think they, I honestly don't think they did give me specific direction. You get back! Get back! Get on your face! What? What are you doing? You okay. Well, again, that's something that. I'm, I may, I may have misinterpreted. Okay. I, I really may have. I'm just, I'm just explaining from, from the officer's perspective, that's why you're in handcuffs right now, okay? So here's what's going to happen, all right? Uh, as we're in a couple of minutes, we're kind of going through taking care of the car, getting clear on some paperwork. Yes. You are going to be booked into the Dane County Jail for a charge of resisting, okay? But, so, I, but did I resist? Stop I resisting! I I yeah, yeah, well, I I well, why, what are you doing? According to these officers, you did, okay? You were given lawful commands to, I'm assuming, get on the ground. You did not do so. They tased you, okay? So and They literally did not. They tased well, me before I got the, I, any command. They didn't. They didn't. Oh, yeah. okay. they tased so me the good before. news, the, the good thing about this all is... No, no there you, is no good news. Is that, you can, ...is that you can argue your case in court, okay? And there, you are you are welcome to hire an attorney, and you can argue your case in court, okay? I don't court, have okay? money to... Uh, if you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. We'll go from there, okay? Thank you. I walk the fuck home! Take my guard, tell it, take anything. Let me fucking go! I'm not a threat to anyone. I'm mad! Let me sit on the curb, please! Please let me sit on the curb! Please let me sit on the curb! Please let me sit on the curb! I'm trying to calm down! And if calm down, you won't let me ah! I'll take care of him. I'll take him to the jail. I'll do that. I just, real quick, because you were on him. So, like, did you, what I, did you I was say? The, I was the one who tased him. Yeah, I get that. Like, what did you say to him? He gets out of the car, he gets out of the car, blah, blah, blah. Like, get away. He engages yeah. with you guys. Like, what was the... Officer just, Sanders told him to stop resisting. Get on the ground, get on the ground, get on the ground. They go rest on the ground. He gets back up. While inside the squad car, she continued her obnoxious behavior and was able to slip one cuff off. What? You have control over your ass. I do, and I fucking calmed my shit down, and you didn't let me out. Aurora, my name's Officer Connie Bear. I'm with UWPD, okay? I'm going to talk to you for a second, so you slipped the cuff. We're going to have to fix that, okay? So that means our officers are going to have to help you, okay? Be in my life, and my arms got to me out of this Look car. Look at me. Look at me. Please. Someone be on my fucking team. Let me yeah. out of the box. Okay. All I ask is to get out of the box. We have to fix cut the cuff stuff. Cut my arms. Cut my arms. Cut my arms. Cut my arms. It's got to be from back to back. Let okay. go. Tell I me. can't. I can't let go. Can get out of this. No. Can I get out of this car? Please no, let me stay no. in the car. Please. Are you going to let me out of the car? I can't promise you anything. No. Let me. Stop frustrating me. Please. Please. You're in police custody. These are off. Okay. That's step one. Okay. Work with our officers, and you're gonna go out this way, okay? Alright, hey! Okay. <laughs> Yes, you do. You, you yes, you do. Fuck that. Put well, me on the fucking say, curb. Put well, me on the street. Anywhere well, but in that car. I'm, I'm asking call me. I'm trying to work something else so your feet aren't restrained. Like I don't want my feet I don't want to be in a box. Restrain my feet. Restrain my feet. Restrain my arms. Put me on the curb. Restrain my feet and restrain my arms. Put me on the curb. What am I going to do? Alright, it's just not going to happen. Why? It's not safe for, for you. Why? Outside of the vehicle. That's fucking bullshit, guys. So if it's not safe, it's to put me in the run. Notice that I'm calmer now and able to talk to you. More calmly now than I was in that car. You want me to calm down? I'm not going to calm down in the back of that car. Maybe on the fucking curb. Tie me to fucking leash if you want. Tie me to fucking curb. Before you put me in that car. No, tell me for what. No, tell me the reason why I'm allowed to know why I'm going to jail. Why? Alright, alright. Educated member of society who's never had any priors, has no threat to society. The only threat I posed was the officer who put her knee on the ground to put me on the ground. I'm not a threat to society. Get your priorities straight, you fucking cops. All right, we're going to get you out of the car now. Are you going to be cool with me? I'm going to have you step up this way, this wall, the yellow wall. Prior to taking the intoximeter test at the jail, Aurora was belligerent and kept yelling and talking over the officers. So an hour, and you, you've been reserving me in the back of your car for an hour, and we got to sit here for 20 minutes to watch me, to make sure yeah. what, to test me if, I'm, if I've been on drugs or alcohol, which is what you arrested me for, which nobody tested me for when I got arrested. You so, literally have no reason to arrest me because the reason I was arrested was for resisting, resisting arrest. And when I was asked for why I was arrested in the first place, I was told it was for driving under the influence. Nobody checked me for driving under the influence. The influence. Nobody did okay. anything to me. No one read me my rights. No one did anything to me. All you did was put some cuffs on me, throw me to the ground, tie my feet, put me in the back of your I'm not on drugs or an alcohol, so fine. Watch me for 20 minutes. 
So watch while before I that. sit here for 20 minutes just being pissed off because that's what I am. That is okay. I just have to watch you for 20 minutes. Put that away. You don't so, have that out for me. I have to look inside your mouth. So I just have to use the flashlight. Go ahead and lift your tongue out. Okay. You can go ahead and close your mouth and relax. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, I know you are, but your job's fucked. So I'm glad you feel good about yourself for being a police officer, but you guys are not here for us. You're not trained for us. And I'm sure you're a good person. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you've gotten to this job to do some good. The system's fucked. You are not here for me. I am not a danger. I'm not a problem. I'm like... This could have been a ticket and send me on my way. Tell my car, fine, send me on my way. Don't tell me it was because of me that I ended up here. That's fucking bullshit. Excuse me, when am I supposed to be red my lights? Shortly after this. What the fuck is that? It means we'll do this first and then we'll read you your rights. Yeah, I know, I get that. That's ridiculous. Okay. Well, that's how the process Aren't you supposed works. to read them when you get arrested? No. So I don't have to be, you can arrest me without telling me why I'm being arrested or reading my rights or anything. I can sit in your car for over an hour without being told why or, or read my rights. The reason I was arrested was not explained to me until I've been sitting in the back of the car for an hour. Nobody read my rights. You started to read my rights. You shook your head at her, which means you clearly don't know what's going on. Did you give us an opportunity to tell you? Yes, I did. I was sitting in the back of your car quiet for an are, hour. Are you sure? Yes. You're still yelling right now. Yes, because I'm mad now. Exactly. I have every right to be mad at you guys. Nobody read me my rights. Nobody told me why I was being arrested, and I'm here. Yes, I'm mad. I'm allowed to be mad. It's not illegal to be mad. It's not illegal to yell at you. It's not illegal to yell at you. Well, you're yelling over Yes, I'm yelling at you, and it's not illegal to yell at you. I can yell at you. Walk away. Okay. Or stand there and look at me fine, but I'm going to yell at you because it's not illegal to yell at you. I'm mad, and I'm allowed to be mad. You guys did not follow my rights. And if you did, fine. It's a fucked up system that doesn't actually give a shit about me. Nobody told me why I was here. So I've been sitting in the back of your car with my hands and legs down for an hour. And I'm, I'm, I'm arrested for in driving intoxicated. Nobody tested me for shit. How can you prove that? That's Nobody crazy. tested me. What is this doing? I'm sitting here in a room yelling at you. Are you going to say I'm belligerent? Are you going to say I'm intoxicated because I'm yelling at you? I can do that sober. Trust me. Trust me. Well, if you allow us to talk. I've been sitting for how long and nobody's telling me anything. You're not allowing us to tell you. I've been quiet for over an hour. Okay. And I start asking questions, and now you're yelling at me because I'm yelling at you because no one's fucking talking to me. You always make it back on me. Laugh yelling? all you want out there. Thank you. Am I yelling at you? No, I'm yelling at you because okay. I said you're sitting here acting like... You're sitting here acting like I am preventing you from doing your job. No, you just didn't do your job. You just didn't do it. Well, I was quiet you. for how fucking long? I'm done talking to you. Great, walk out. Okay, no. I'm here for her safety, too. Great. What am I going to fucking do in here? What are you guys so afraid of? Look at me. What the fuck can I do to you except yell at you? Sorry it scares you. I'm here. I clearly have no, no rights or or say here and anything happens. Because it's my word against your guys. So you can say anything the fuck you want and I'm just screwed. So do what you want. I'm mad. I'm pissed at you guys. Just put it whatever you need to on paper. Okay. I'm not intoxicated. I'm pissed is what I am. And I have every right to be. When you're ready to take that deep breath, drop your lips around it too. Blow long and steady. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. The test provided a result of 0 0.07, approximately two and a half hours after the initial stop. Have you been drinking? Two drinks, three drinks. It also will be for the charges that you're booked in on. Again, it's OWI, first offense, and resisting causing injury. How long are I still have the OWI if I was within the legal limit of testing? So I still have probable cause to arrest you for OWI. You're not going to be getting a PAC citation, which is saying that you're over that the 0.08 that you're speaking of. So they come together. So those two citations usually come together. You're only getting the OWI. So usually PAC, which is pro prohibited alcohol concentration, which is the 0.08 you're talking about, and OWI typically go together. You're not getting the prohibited alcohol concentration because at this time you are not an 07, or you are not an 08, you are an 07. And then there'll be traffic citations in there as well. Aurora was charged with felony battery threat to an officer and misdemeanor resisting obstructing an officer. Four months later, Aurora was found guilty for her resisting charge and will be referred to a deferred prosecution program. The other charge was dismissed on the prosecutor's motion. She also received several citations totaling over $1,600. However, all the citations were eventually dropped to on the prosecutor's motion except for the OWI first offense citation. Lastly, Julia was charged with misdemeanor resisting obstructing an officer and pleaded no contest, thus being considered guilty. Head over to codebluecam.com 
and check out our great selection of quality-made merch that won't disappoint. We'll be right back.